Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia and today I'll be showing you this kind of wearable but still very party looking mermaid inspired look. I knew I wanted to do some teals and some glitter and something wearable but still really cool to wear. I saw a picture on Facebook with a uh, matte liquid lipstick topped with a highlighter so I had to try that as well. And of course I had to pair it with a fishtail braid or fishbone braid? Fishtail? Fishbone? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to you can please subscribe I'll be putting up a bit more videos and hopefully you'll get inspired and if you do please tag me on Instagram you can go follow me there as well and I'll get to you in a second. Bye! To prime my eyes I'm starting off with a Too Faced Shadow Insurance Candlelight Eye Primer. I put a tiniest amount on my ring finger and smooth it out all over the lid into my inner corner. Then with my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, I'm going in with the grey colour Grip. I want the crease to be nice and cool tone for this look. I'm taking my trusty MAC 217 brush to really blend it into the crease area with two coats and small buffing and windshield wiper motions. With the same brush, I'm going back to the palette for the deep teal colour Arctic, laying it on top and focusing it on my outer V and bringing it slightly into my crease. For my lower lash line, I'm taking Lagoon Blue Pencil from Makeup Store, starting from my outer V, smudging it into the lash line, in the rim and a bit under the lash line as well to really make it pop like crazy. On top of that to set it, I'm putting a light green inkblot shadow from my Custom Freedom palette in 419 and a RT slanted brush. I'm dabbing and smudging it till I get a color payoff that I desire for this look. Back to my eyelid, I'm covering my lid space below the crease all the way to the inner corner with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Then with a rounded and dense brush, I'm ever so gently smudging the product to get rid of any harsh lines. Back to that same Inglot Green with my MAC 217, I'm going to place that shadow on top of the right base to really make it stand out and shiny. To darken up that outer V, I'm taking my Anastasia Deep Brown on a tapered skinny blending brush, dabbing it into the shadow because I want the most pigment on the tip, tapping some excess product off because it's crusty pigmented. Focusing on where I want the most product, I'm blending it all the way from my outer V to my inner corner for more depth. I love how the Deep Brown really transforms all the teals into a more dirty green color, but still stays shiny. For lining, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and this one never seems to fail me. I always tilt the pencil to rest it on my top lash for support and precision, and I build it up to the thickness that I desire. I flick from the bottom of my lash line, and then connect and fill it in. Time to tidy line my upper lash line, and this is my favorite trick to really get it in there. So with the RT Acron brush, I'm going to rub it onto the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. I tilt my head slightly backwards and rub the brush in between my lashes to darken it up. I use large glitter flakes to create a fish scale effect over the eyeliner using Makeup Store's Mixing Liquid and the liner brush. These are so gorgeous, they're teal and have a slight dual chrome effect that turns into somewhat a pinkish purple, so it really resembles the ocean for me. I got so carried away I forgot to show this loose glitter. It's Makeup Forever in the shade number 3 and I'm placing it in my inner corner along the lower lash line to make it sparkle like the sun hitting waves on a sunny day. I'm giving some curl to my lashes and apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top lashes only and I'm doing a generous coat here. I pop on some lashes, I made a huge mess but it's okay, we'll roll with it. And while the glue dries, I put on some inner corner highlight and some brow bone highlight. Then the Inglot shadow number 45 and it has a pearl finish. What else for a mermaid look, huh? When the lashes are put, I use my lash curl to gently press them together with my own lashes for a more put together result. For the lips, I'm using the Kat Von D Lolita 2 and I'm going to slightly overline my lips. 
once dried, I go over top with the same light inglot shade in number 45 and just dust it really lightly on it. I really love how it gives the lips a sheen of pearly gold. And this is the final look. I hope I inspired you to grab some teals and just to try out something different. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching if you stayed till the very end. And I hope to see you in my next video.